What's up, guys? It's Mike over at Altcoin Market News. On the road for a family emergency today, um, but I wanted to take a second to uh, put out a quick video. We got some good stories to hit. Uh, we'll be taking a closer look at the uh, WAX token today. Um, Redcoin RDD is uh, potentially announcing a partnership with Investico, um, bringing Redcoin to uh, the form of debit card and ATMs globally. And also, um, Venezuela certifies 16 new cryptocurrency exchanges. We'll be taking a look at that story as well. All right, guys, first story of the day, we're over here at blockchaingamer.biz. Wax, what is the worldwide asset exchange? Wax. Given that the founders of OP Skins, the world's largest in-game asset marketplace, have moved on to becoming the founders of the worldwide asset exchange, tells you almost everything you need to know about the project. Whereas OP Skins is a centralized site for trading assets from Steam games such as Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, H1Z1, and Pug B, the goal for WAX is to provide a decentralized plug-in market and cryptocurrency anyone can use to set up their own trading exchange for all in-game assets whether they support the WAX blockchain or not. The existing market is already estimated to be worth $50 billion a year in terms of the total value of items traded with around 400 million players making up that market. But given its advantages in terms of trust, transparency, speed, and lower transaction costs, WAX could increase that significantly. The platform structure is complex, however, so read carefully. Balances and counterbalances. The core component of the worldwide asset exchange is the WAX token that enables users to list items for sale as well as settling the transfer of value between traders. It also plays a key role in maintaining the underlying system behind the exchange, which uses nodes, called guilds, to handle the trading and exchange of in-game items that don't use the WAX blockchain. All right, guys, and here you can see a little recap of uh, the history of this. Peer-to-peer -peer transactions as far as in-game trading goes 2004. As World of Warcraft grew to 12 million subscribers, a vibrant a vibrant peer-to-peer -peer secondary market develops to sell in-game goods for cash. For most users, this was risky and difficult. 2015, OP Skins Centralized Marketplace developed. And now we have WAX, Decentralized Marketplace. The WAX platform, a decentralized marketplace, allows buyers and sellers to deal directly with each other at low cost. Of course, if a developer supports a WAX token natively for in-game items, Trading is simple and seamless. However, to enable the WAX platform to support existing games, which will be the vast majority of trading for years to come, there must be a process to handle the trading of non-tokenized assets. In that context, guilds are the confirming nodes of the WAX platform and are elected through a delegated proof of stake process by users. The guilds are responsible for forming blocks of transactions and they must sign these blocks and transact them to other guilds on the platform. For this service, they receive fees earned within the block. They also handle the transfer of in-game items, again claiming a cut of each transaction they successfully complete. Periodically, they transfer a percentage of their fees to their pledge stakeholders, who typically are WAX users. In this way, at set times, users holding WAX tokens get 8 votes to distribute between existing and potential guilds. These are then ranked in order of votes. At any time, users can recalibrate their votes to other guilds, although when they do so, they will obviously lose their stake and rewards in the original guild. Future Proof When WAX launches, there will be 64 guilds, each of which handles just one game or one game server although multiple guilds can support the same game or game server if there is enough voter demand. Obviously, this number will increase as support for more games is added and or the community requires new game servers to be added. This process will occur as these new guilds can be proposed at the cost of 10 WAX tokens and voted on during that set time period. If enough votes are received, the total number of guilds will be increased by 8. In this way, it's hoped the system's inherent rewards will maintain a balance of trust between its user base and the guilds who ensure WAX runs properly and in-game asset trading is successful, as well as providing the flexibility required to keep the system up to date. Tech Specs 
In terms of how Wax will be assessed, there are four components. Wax Connect is the browser-based SDK that provides a set of functions to allow the building of listing widgets, performing wallet transactions, etc. Wax Node. Wax Node is the full node implementation of the platform that will be run by each guild and other ecosystem participants. Each Wax Node will hold a complete copy of the Wax blockchain. Wax Wallet allows non-Wax users to hold Wax and participate in guild voting. And finally, Wax Core is the SDK that encapsulates the core elements of Node and Wallet for those who want to build on top of the Wax platform itself. What's next? Given the scale and complexity of the project, it's no surprise that Wax has a long roadmap, with a formal launch not expected until quarter four of this year, 2018. It's hoped 10 sites will support the technology in quarter one, 2019, rising to 100 sites by the end of that same year, 2019. At present, the first live implementation of Wax is via OP Skins, which is acting as a test case for alpha testing. All right, guys, here we have a quick look at their timeline. We're right in this range right now. Um, OP Skins, Testnet, alpha development is coming. And uh, next on line, quarter three, 2018, they have MVP beta, and then actual launch, and then this year, quarter fourth. And then um, next year, they would like to have 10 sites, like they said, supporting it by quarter one, 50 quarter two, and by the end of the year, quarter three, they'd like to have 100 sites supporting it. The company completed its ICO in late 2017, raising 41 to 61 million, depending on reports. The cryptocurrency is now being traded on exchanges, notably Hubio Pro, although given Wax can currently only be used on OP skins, it has very little utility value at present. All right, guys, this is a little uh, more in-depth look at the Wax project, their timeline, and where they're heading, what problems they are solving. We've been following these guys for quite a while. Um, they just had another skin purchase, I believe, of 30000 that I saw on Twitter today or you know the day before something along that line but um this this gaming world is only going to continue to grow the in-game trading will continue to become more mainstream continue to grow and wax um wax they are definitely the forefront as far as uh this technology in this realm of uh actions online is is concerned so we will continue to keep an eye on these guys um and see how their roadmap plays out over this year and going into 2019 where they actually actually uh, get involved in the launch of the platform itself. But there's still a lot of movement right now, a lot of activity with them, so we will keep you up to date for sure. All right, guys, let's hop right into the next one. Um, let's take a look at Redcoin today. They, uh, over here in their blog, Reddit or um, reddit.com, I should say, Redcoin Core is pleased to announce that we are exploring a partnership with Investico.in to leverage our services and platform to offer a Redcoin-backed debit card and network of global ATMs. We look forward to potentially being the first cryptocurrency to be integrated in this way, allowing for easy use and storage of Redcoin in the real world. While Redcoin and Investico.in are still in the initial phase of a project that has great promise to spread our beloved red coin please feel free to explore their site view the below videos on ATM and debit card projects and let us know what you think it's our feeling that any crypto project that genuinely seeks to broaden adoption and make it easier for people to use store spend and tip with hashtag red it is a net positive for our community and we welcome contact from like-minded groups and projects like Investico. All right, guys, let's take a look at their um, their services, their debit card services, to give you a better idea what they are bringing to the table and why Redcoin is looking to um, get involved with these guys. The speed of the crypto revolution is accelerating like never before leading to an exponential explosion of demand for cryptocurrencies. I mean, did you know that we can now leverage the power of blockchain and apply it to next generation banking and investments? 
Let me tell you about Investor Crypto <clears throat> Investment Platform and the revolutionary idea of turning the whole financial rigmarole of old-fashioned banks to be replaced by a much simpler, elegant and efficient solution. The Investor Galaxy Debit Card will be the bridge between your digital and physical assists. Practical solution that offers spending fiat or cryptocurrencies for your everyday shopping, entertainment or travel. Investor will allow you to load your card with IMV tokens or other currencies. Also offering one of the most popular reward programs that gives you exclusive priority pass benefits, such as free access to more than 1,000 VIP airport lounges. There's a new way coming and it's shaping up to be, or perhaps the first time in history, a truly unified financial universe. Investor. Alright guys, that pretty much sums it up what they're uh, offering on the card side of things. This is uh, pretty interesting news to me considering it's coming from Redcoin, more of a social media type coin, but them getting involved in a debit card and global ATMs and even taking an interest in something like that is surprising and encouraging. Um, I'm a fan of Redcoin, what they've been doing. They're a really active uh, really active project and uh, throwing curveballs in like this, this is this is good to see for them. I expect them to uh, most definitely follow through with this into the future and uh, I, I most definitely expect it to uh, affect the coin on the markets in a positive way for sure. Anything leading to uh, adoption of, of new uses of crypto in place of the existing bank realm in my opinion um, it is a good step towards the future, even if there's stumbles along the way. We need to take those steps to see what we can do and what works and what doesn't work in the, the real world. So, um, good good move by Redcoin. I'd like to see that, guys. I'm excited to see that. That's very encouraging right there. So, we'll keep you up to date with that project. And uh, if anything actually does end up happening officially with them, because right now they're just, you know, potentially discussing a partnership so we'll keep them uh keep them on the radar and let you guys know what ends up unfolding all right last last story we'll hop right into here over here bitcoin.com venezuela certifies 16 cryptocurrency exchanges according to venezuelan newspaper with government backing Coriel del orinaco Mandaro has, quote, authorized the certification of 16 exchange houses for cryptocurrencies, end quote, which will facilitate petro transactions in the international market. Maduro was quoted saying during the inauguration of Venezuelan Power Expo 2018 in Caracas, quote, the first certification of these 16 exchanges is a demonstration of confidence in the system of the petro as a cryptocurrency and will allow liquidity and solid transactional volume." End quote. The news follows the announcement of Venezuela's major crackdown on crypto exchanges and remittance businesses dubbed Operation Paper Hands. Alright guys, and uh, they get into the actual 16 exchanges here. I will list this in the description. I'm not going to read through all these and their chop up their names. You know I will. So we'll move on past that. Um, it does say, though, that, however, there is no confirmation that any of them have agreed to list the Petro at this time of writing. So these 16 have not confirmed the use of the Petro crypto, but um, I'm expecting the fact that the government is allowing this to happen. Um, they will most definitely be uh, expected to list it. And um, I, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing how this plays out. This is a national crypto, the Petro. For Venezuela, a government-based petro or um, crypto, so it's interesting to see um, an existing government getting involved in trying to uh, step into that realm. Venezuela, of course, they need help financially to reamp their systems. So um, <clears throat> we'll keep an eye on these guys. Let you know if they do confirm the use of the petro and how that affects the markets. Either way, if these exchanges do go ahead and go live, that is. Much more exposure to coins um, in Venezuela, crypto in general. Good moves, guys. We'll keep uh, an eye on this and keep you guys up to date. 
But um, like I said, we're on the road. We'll be back in town um, this coming Friday. I'll get one more video out before then. And um, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Hit the like button, get over the page, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.